Hello everyone and welcome to Karen Ash Inside Bikes. For 2024, there's a host of new super sport bikes being launched. Here are our top five. First up on our list is the Triumph Daytona 660. Now, Triumph's Daytona name has been synonymous with Triumph sports bikes for a number of years, but we haven't seen it since 2018. Now for 2024, there's a new three cylinder 660 model on the market. So the new Daytona 660 is based on the naked Triumph Trident 660 that was bought out a couple of years ago, but it's got 17% more horsepower from some clever engine work. It makes 93 horsepower, which means it can still be restricted to A2 and 69 Nm of torque. It comes with three rider modes and although it's still sporty it's not on the extreme end like the Yamaha R7 it's more CBR 650R. So how much will it cost? It will cost £8,595 and it will be in dealers in April and if you want to go racing on it Peter Hickman has also developed a race kit um, so it can be raced in the BSB National Sports Bike Championship. Next up on the list we have Honda's new for 2024 CBR600RR which is a bike we haven't seen in UK dealers since 2017. It was unveiled at EICMA in November and will set you back £10,499 which is cheaper than the equivalent Kawasaki ZX6R which is also new for 2024 as well as Yamaha's track only R6 race. It produces a peak power of 119 horsepower, which is one more than the outgoing model from 2017, and it also produces 63 newton meters of torque. So the big difference with the new CBR 600 rr compared to the old model is it's got a host of new tech, which is similar to the uh, tech that you'd find on the new Fireblade. It's got five different rider modes, wheelie control, all that kind of thing. And it also comes with winglets, which are also similar to the CBR 1000 Fireblade. It'll be raced at the British Championship and also at the Isle of Man TT. Continuing with bikes launched from Mike, next up is the Suzuki GSX-8R. Under the fully fared bodywork is the same 776 parallel twin engine that's found in the GSX-8S which produces 81 horsepower and 78 newton meters of torque. It's controlled by a ride-by-wire system which allows for three different rider modes, three different traction control settings and a TFT dash. The rest of the specs are very similar to that of the Suzuki GSX-8S, its naked sibling which we tried on the channel last year. The fully fed bodywork opens it up to a new audience with rider ergonomics not as extreme as Yamaha's R7 but more akin to that of the CB650R. The new Suzuki G6AR will be in showrooms very soon in 2024 and will set you back £8,899. Italian manufacturer Aprilia are renowned for making great sports bikes and the newest in their lineup is the RS457 which is A2 license compliant. It's right on the cusp of being A2 license compliant making 47 horsepower and with just 159 kilograms dry weight it's one of the best power to weight ratio bikes in the class. Price and availability in the UK is still to be confirmed but it goes up against the likes of Honda's CBR500R, the new Kawasaki Ninja 500 and KTM's RC390 so we can't wait to test all of those on the channel. Last but not least in our top five list of super sport bikes for 2024 and personally a bike I'm really looking forward to, to riding is the Kawasaki ZX4 RR. Now back in the 90s uh, the ZX R400 was hugely popular and got a generation of riders onto super sport bikes. Now fast forward to 2024 the new ZX4 RR is launched and we'll see a full grid of them in the BSB support series uh, and the new super teams class. So the 2024 ZX4 RR stays true to its heritage with an over 15,000 RPM red line and a frame inspired by the Kawasaki Racing World Superbike team. It will set you back £8,699 and we can't wait to ride it on the channel this year. Modern tech includes a 4.3 inch TFT dash, smartphone connectivity, four different rider modes and an up-down quick shifter. So that's it for our top five super sport bikes for 2024. For more information on all the details on these bikes, click the link in our description below to find out more details. But for now, thanks for watching and see you on the next one.